trigonometry products as sums or differences. Now, these these proofs are quite simple. Um, how they're used basically is that if you have got um, a product and you want to and you want to integrate them, right? So we take this one, so it's the integral of that. Then you can split it up into um, a difference or a sum, and of course that makes the integration process very very simple. So it's probably more sort of borderline extension one, extension two uh, type of thing, but the but they're interesting little proofs just to do anyhow. The first one, um, what we do is just use our normal expansion of sine theta plus phi, sine theta cos phi plus cos theta sine phi, and the other one, sine theta minus phi, is sine theta cos phi minus cos theta sine phi. Okay, so now when we subtract these two from each other, right, what happens there is that you can quite easily see that um, I'm subtracting them then, the so these sine theta cos phi go out, they'll go out, okay, and this will change to a plus, and you get the result 2 cos theta sine phi. The other one, similar sort of thing, we um, write sine theta plus phi and sine theta minus phi out, okay, uh, <clears throat> but this time we add them together, okay, and when you add them together, you get that the, the coses go out, and you get 2 sine theta cos phi. Right, now in part 3, what we'll do here, we'll get the expansion of cos theta plus phi as cos theta cos phi minus sine theta sine phi, and cos theta minus phi is cos theta cos phi plus sine theta sine phi. Now, in this case here, when you subtract them, okay, on, on subtracting those, right, you're going to get that the, the coses go out, these will go out, but now you'll get a, a minus, and a minus give you a minus sign here. So you can just adjust that a little bit by simply multiplying throughout by negative 1 and making that a positive. And of course, then that now we just swap them over. There's the, that'll be a, a minus on this one and a plus on that one. All right? So just watch that one. The other one is uh, very straightforward. Again, cos theta plus phi equals this one and cos theta minus phi equals the same one. Oh, sorry, the, the, the opposite sign one. Now, <clears throat> this time, when you add them, the signs conveniently go out, they go out, and you get 2 cos theta cos phi. Now, as I said, fairly limited use, but certainly extremely useful when you, if you want to integrate these products, just changing them into, into sums and differences. Okay, thank you for watching.